Hey guys, Jeremiah with Steps Pressure Washing and More. We're out in Andrew, North Carolina. Heading up to Garner today, we're gonna to be doing some gutters. Then heading over to Zebulon, where we're gonna be washing a house. So, we've got the trailer set up. We've got the Hudson float valve working just fine. We have our 24 foot ladder on top, 16 foot little giant. Really everything ready to rock and roll. It's about 37 degrees out right now. So we are wearing the puffy, va uh, puffy coat. And I picked up a hitchhiker this morning who is got some very important meetings in Raleigh. So I'm going to drop her off on our way there. Yeehaw. Roof blown off, gutters cleaned out, ground cleanup done, and we are just under an hour, so I think after speaking with the customer, we're going to hit right about an hour uh, all in all on this one, so heading out to Zebulon next. Alrighty, got the rig set up, everything is flowing smoothly, I'm giving the tank a little time to fill up, that way it's a little bit ahead of us. And we're going to take a quick walk around here. This one is not very bad. Uh, we definitely have some buildup on the front here. But they have very well maintained this home. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little bit of yuck starting right up here. Um, along with the gutter line. We've got a ton of these tiger stripes. Hopefully a lot of that's going to wash off. Because it looks like a lot of it's just sitting there on the front. But... I'm going to go ahead and get that washed off. Again, this is just a little bit of dirt and build up. All this white's going to pop when we're done. Right here, you can kind of see a little bit of mold growing on it. This is the north side, so you're going to get a little bit of that. Over here, lots of sunshine, another dirty gutter line. And I think that's just, it's a new roof. And they're getting a lot of the granules coming off. And back here, just a simple, straightforward back of the house, no deck. Easy on, easy off. And again, we've got a lot of stripes here on the back. Not as bad as on the front, but I'll wash that the best I can. And call it a day. So we are back out in Zebulon. We really don't normally work out here, but it uh, looks like we're picking up a couple customers, which is cool. I'm definitely okay with that. We were in Garner this morning, so this was just another half hour away. If this was our only job of the day, I definitely wouldn't have preferred driving out here, but let's go ahead and get this cranked up now that we have a buffer. That's a nice feeling, not having to hold that trigger down. Alright. Let's get to washing. Alright. We definitely have not been doing a lot of washing lately. So I'm a little bit out of practice on this. But, you know, it's like riding a bike. You put the SH on. You let it dwell, you rinse the SH off. Not rocket science. Holding the camera might be a little bit more rocket science than washing this house up. We are running our standard 1% mix. We've been running that for a couple years now. Tends to get just about everything we need. 
on a house like this, it's not very dirty. It's going to really, it's going to be more than what we need. But it's just easier to run the same thing every day, every house, because we know this isn't going to kill vegetation. It's not going to flash oxidized siding. Because we've been doing it for a while. So, well, we've been doing it, I've been doing it for a while, and I know that 1% is where I want to be. I'm going to twist this stream, get it a little tighter. Those of you guys just joining our channel, I use a, an M5 Duo, where I have the X-Jet M5 Twist as my rinsing tool, the M5 Downstream as my soaper, and I have it on a three-nozzle J-Rod, and that pretty much gets me everywhere I need to be. I can wash and rinse three-story houses on a nice calm day like what we have today. So hitting this two-story gutter line is no big deal. If we add a little wind, uh, the M5s definitely aerate a little more than I would like. I know that I could plug the injector barb and get a little less air in that X-Jet, but I really like having the option of downstreaming higher percentages of SH than the 1% that I generally do, and the X-Jet allows me to do that right at the nozzle, so we're going to stick with what we've got going. Yeah, this, this gunk is coming right off of these uh, gutters and soffits, so. All right, gonna let that dwell for a minute. So we are now on rinsing. A lot of those tiger stripes here on the back side of the house came off a little bit, but they need a full gutter brightening to get them to go away all the way. But we at least knocked the gunk off. Just making it look exceptionally bad right now. Make sure to really rinse the windows. I'm going to come back through one more time and get these things rinsed again. Uh, especially with the sunlight on this side of the house, I don't want them to dry too quickly. And I want to make sure that all of the SH is off. We have done some work for this client before. They have a uh, rental property that we did last January. so. I reached out to them and asked if they were looking to get that rental property washed again, and they said no, not yet, but uh, this is their personal home, so I'm very grateful that uh, they've given us the opportunity and uh, continued work, especially during the slow seasons, because it's, uh, I know a lot of guys out there will tell you, no, slow season's a myth. You just gotta work harder and hustle more, and that may be true, but uh, I still see a huge difference <laughs> between May and January on effort that has to be made in order to fill up your calendar. And a lot of what we're doing lately is gutters, and that's that's okay with me. You know, gutters are a very very steady income, especially during the fall and winter. It helps us bridge that gap between that late summer and spring when folks are outside in North Carolina. And uh, generally, we will have some folks who have us come out several times a year. Now, what I have found this year is a lot of our customers from last winter and, uh, and fall 
who had overflowing gutters were not super interested in getting their gutters cleaned out again this year. So I think some of our customers are not going to be repeat clients. They're going to kind of be as needed. And I kind of knew that just because they weren't super interested in getting on the schedule last time we were there. But hey, that's all right. It's their gutters. We do charge extra for gutters that are impacted and full. So it's kind of their choice how often they want to get it cleaned out and how much they want to play pay per cleaning. All right, well, I'm going to get this side rinsed. We're going to move around to the front and get some of that algae knocked off. Wash in the front of the house now. Just trying to get a good saturation on all this algae we got right up here. There's a little corner of the house that's going to be a little bit difficult to get to, but luckily it is a small area just over here, um, past my reach, so I'm thinking I can hit that from the driveway. We do have a little bit of wind that's pushing away from the angle that I need to get to to get that one little corner, so... We'll see if we can do it with the M5 Duo. Maybe just play the wind a little bit. We will see. Luckily, it does look like that area gets some sunshine, so it's not super dirty. So I think if I can just get a little bit of spray up there. It'll take care of the little bit of buildup that they have. Again, this house is not super dirty, so it's not going to take leaps and bounds to get it clean. It's definitely not taking more than one coat of our 1% mix, so I'm pretty happy with what we got going on. If it takes a little bit of effort for one little corner, so be it. That's kind of what we sign up for. So here's that one little area I'm going to try and get from right out here. And that seems to be doing the trick. Be able to get the soffits and the gutters from this angle. And I can get the siding from over here. Love it. Alright, I'm gonna let all this dwell. And come back, give it a good rinse. Alright, we're on final rinse. And this has been a pretty short day, just two simple projects. Uh, the first house we did was just gutter cleaning. We do their house three to four times a year. And again, their price reflects that. You know, they are on our minimum charge for gutter cleaning because we're out there and it never gets super bad. It's never standing water. They have us come out pretty frequently. And uh, again, this one was a pretty simple, straightforward house wash where the algae was not super built up and it really only required one wash which is what we're always hoping for. I know I could probably do one wash on some other houses just because uh, I could increase my SH mixture but I prefer to know what I'm hitting is going to be safe for every house. And uh... All right, I'm going to rinse my downstream injector. I went ahead and took the dipstick out of the mix tank. I put it into a, a little one-gallon pitcher that I carry around with me, and this is how I flush it out. Just because we have such few washing jobs lately, I always make sure I do this. If I had another job tomorrow, I might not do it, but 
Uh, I want to make sure that we're not corroding and just sitting there. Alright, since it's so early in the day and this is our last stop, I'm going to go ahead and do a gutter brightening on this little gutter right here. I'm not going to do the whole house, but right here, this is the first thing you see when you walk in, so I'm going to go ahead and just knock that out real quick. So what we have is we have our gutters app. I have it in a little spray bottle. We've got our salt and pepper brush on an extender reach, and I'm just going to... Give this a quick spray. I'll brush it on, let it sit for a few minutes. He here is doing small areas at a time. And very light brushing. So I gave that a little bit of time to sit, but not dry. I'm gonna come on through with some light pressure. Just knock all of that gunk off. And as you can see, right here, finished product is faded tiger stripes, not gone, but faded. And then you kind of can see that blend over the more defined. So I'm gonna get this whole thing scrubbed down and uh, roll out. All right guys, well that's gonna do it for me. I'm gonna go ahead and pack everything up and head on home. Gotta go pick up that little munchkin on the way. Uh, for those of you wondering, our niece is staying with us this week, so that's why we had to make a quick run to daycare on our way to our first job today, and uh, we'll be doing that a little bit this week, and then getting back to our normal rhythm. Hopefully uh, by Friday, we've got another couple jobs coming up, so uh, that's going to do it for me. Y'all be safe out there.